launched two new products in this uh, Xbox exhibition. One is the passenger host. Of course, uh, GJJ passenger host is uh, world famous and we always exhibit. But this time, we exhibited uh, 3.6 meter long planes, which is in high demand in the market. Normally, our standard host is uh, with a 3.2 meter uh, gauge. Uh, but uh, this time we introduced the 3.6 meter gauge without any changes in other specifications. Uh, this host is uh, with the uh, uh, SCW Germany mechanism and Siemens Germany VFD and VLC, Smurzer limit switches and all safety features uh, which is required uh, uh, for any construction industry in the world. The world class safety uh, systems are provided. Very same host is selling in Europe. Uh, America, even uh, South America, you name any country in the world, the host is, uh, the host is uh, selling uh, as a uh, best product in the world. This host is having different speeds according to the customer requirement and customer height, uh, height of the buildings. Uh, particularly, the, this one is the slowest speed, the 46 meter per minute. And uh, we used only uh, 2 into 11, 22 kilowatt motors to achieve 46 uh, meter per minute speed. This speed can be uh, achieved even at a uh, uh, full load of two tons. There is no reduction on the speed. Uh, this hoist can save very huge uh, electricity, approximately uh, 4 to 5 lakh worth of uh, electricity can be saved each and every year, even though the price is a little bit higher. And uh, the average life of this hoist is about 20 to 25 years, which is proven in India. Many uh, corporate customers and contractors are uh, opted to use DJJ because of the lifespan and the trouble-free uh, operation and reliability of this passenger host. Luckily, one of the customers from Bandu, uh, Maya Estate, they are belongs to uh, Manipal University, uh, University. They uh, like this host very much. The very first day itself, we could be able to sell this uh, host to them. They actually need three hoists for a, one of the ultra luxury projects coming up in the heart of Bangalore, that is at the Richmond Circle. They ordered three units uh, across the table, and after the exhibition, this particular host will be going to their site. Another two hoists will be coming to their site. That is a very uh, uh, happy news uh, we can share to, from the exhibition grounds. Another product what we launched is the CNC rebar processing machine. One of the CNC instead of vendor is. Uh, in live demo, which is producing any type of uh, stirrups, uh, whether it is circle or square or rectangle, any shape you can program in it, and very fast production is there. It can produce about uh, 16 to 18 tons of uh, steam uh, within 24 hours. So, this particular machine can feed up to 12 mm uh, diameter coils, uh, single uh, road or double road. According to customer requirement, it can produce. Uh, this is in a hot demand. Uh, we got more than 100 inquiries so far. So it is in a high demand. So we could able to close uh, many deals after the, uh, this exhibition. We, uh, since it is in live demo and it can handle any type of steel, whether it is Tata steel or JSW or any local made steel, where the strength is very high, uh, this can be it can be handled. There is an automatic power thinking system. Whereas, if customer buy any other uh, stirrup vendor, it takes a whole day to set up the uh, rollers from one diameter to another diameter. Here, there is an automated uh, roller adjusting system. It will take hardly 15 20 minutes to change the roller setting from one road to another road. So, that is the speciality uh, of this particular uh, stirrup vendor. So, we start producing uh, here in the exhibition itself. Many people, many college students are eager to see such machines. So this is in what it is. In fact, uh, we started a R&D team last year uh, with a general manager and uh, five six engineers. So currently we are concentrating on the improvement and uh, uh, on the passenger host uh, manufacturing about to come up in uh, India. So we are concentrating on that aspect so far. So we are going to produce uh, uh, same GJJ passenger host in India with higher quality and uh, looking for some new options which will be acceptable not only to Indian uh, uh, customers uh, on a, with an eye on global market.
So we are working on that. Maybe after a year or so, things will come. In fact, uh, we are promoting uh, our train articulation systems in this exhibition. Uh, we already displayed this uh, articulation systems here. Uh, but also, it is a hot cake. Uh, we already sold the program 500 units in India. Uh, naming uh, LNT, JMC, uh, capacity, all, all major contractors are using our uh, articulation systems, which is mandatory uh, for every tower train nowadays where multiple trains are working. Even multiple trades are not there, some structures are uh, there or nearby buildings are there to protect the tower thing. Uh, nowadays, almost everybody is using the articulation systems. This is proven in the market from 2015 onwards. The last seven years, it is working without any uh, any trouble. Uh, so, everybody is uh, opting this particular product. This is a very high demand. There are uh, many uh, manufacturers in India, also from China also, but those machines are uh, facing uh, some problems because of the uh, rebar diameter, which is uh, not in perfect control in India. Some companies like uh, Tata and JSW, some famous brands, they control the diameter as well as the uh, hardness of the uh, material, but uh, most of the contractors are using the local steel. If they use 500D or 550D, if you test the hardness uh, in a, in a uh, laboratory, it, you will get a result of 700 or 750, something like a very high hardness. So most of the machine fails because of the uh, higher hardness. Uh, cutting tool will be damaged, rollers will be damaged. So we have designed this machine according to Indian conditions, like the hardness as well as the diameter differences, all has been taken care in this machine. So we hope that this will be a uh, very good product for Indian market and we hope that we will be able to sell uh, high volume in the coming years. In fact, we uh, just uh, brought a very good brand uh, of XCR uh, from China, it's a government company. They are into uh, rudder launchers, uh, static carriers as well as uh, self-propelled uh, modular transporter like uh, multi-axle bodies starting from 100 ton to uh, 3000 tons uh, which may be required uh, for the metro construction, various uh, bridges construction as well as the high-speed railway construction. They already sold uh, uh, several launchers to AFCONS, uh, Naviva Engineering in the year of 2009-10. Uh, Last 12 years it is working very well. That is why we took the exclusive leadership of this company. Uh, because of the proven track record in India itself. So we hope that uh, we can get a uh, good business in India. So uh, the purpose for us visiting XCON is to understand what are the latest materials and construction technologies out there. I think today with the rising uh, cost of uh, raw material as well as manpower, uh, we have to look now beyond the traditional methods and start introducing a lot of modularization and automation into our construction uh, sites. And I think uh, these exhibitions give us an opportunity to open up our outlook as to what is actually out there, how we can use it, how we can integrate it with our existing workforce. Uh, I think that's super important. And uh, my experience, I only visited two halls so far. I visited Hall 1 and Hall 2. Of course, Hall 2 is close to me because we purchased this lovely material hoist over here. Uh, but in, even in Hall 1, I saw a lot of uh, new innovations in space of how we can improve our finishing processes, how we can reduce and mitigate our uh, dependency on labor and the workforce, uh, which uh, we've actually taken a couple of brochures from that experience as well. Uh, to see what we can better implement on our sites. So Maya is predominantly focused on residential development, high-end luxury residential development. Uh, although that's a, that's a word that's commonly misused in our industry, luxury, uh, uh, we truly believe to be best in class in any segment. Uh, we like to uh, use the analogy of, of, of a very successful brand that's close to us, a Mercedes car. No matter which car you buy up there, there's a A-class, a C-class, a E-class or S-class. End of the day, you're still getting a Mercedes. Uh, and, and that's how we want to be associated as a brand in the best in class 
across all the segments uh, that that Northern State has to offer. So yeah. we bought three of them yeah. uh, for our site in uh, uh, Richmond Road. Uh, the, the, the reason why we purchased uh, these material hoists is that uh, one is of course efficiency. Uh, vertical transportation of material is extremely expensive uh, and time consuming. Uh, so with material hoists we are able to mitigate the time taken as well as we are able to save on the costs uh, that are needed to lift the materials from the ground floor level up to the respective floors. Uh, also engineer movement. People movement is a big aspect in our sites. Uh, we have uh, almost more than 30 engineers working on our site which is just on our payrolls. We don't include the contractors. So even for them to be able to do their job effectively, giving them seamless movement across the building, uh, which says devices, uh, is an amazing uh, efficiency on our construction site. This particular machine moves at 48 meters per sec uh, minute, uh, so quite comfortably within two minutes and at the topmost point of our site. So at Everest, uh, I guess, uh, thanks to Mr. Ramde, we got uh, amazing service uh, from Everest Engineering in our first project when Everest put up a material hoist for us in, in our Jakarta construction site. Uh, over there, we had no downtime issues. We had a great uh, maintenance uh, from the team support and company support, uh, which gave us the confidence to uh, place an order with them the next time and not actually rent the machine. Uh, so I'm really happy with our decision. And Mr. Ramdev and team have been very, very supportive through the whole process. And that's really what business is about, giving that comfort to people when they're buying expensive machinery. Uh, I think that's what draws us to every uh,